I am prepared to go to jail under Atsiku's administration if he wins the election, says Festus Kiyamo. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The Minister of State, Labour and Employment, Festus Kiyamo, has said that he is ready to go to jail if Atsiku wins the forthcoming election because of his petition against him. It could be recalled that a day ago, Kiyamo has sent a petition to the EFCC ICPC and CCB urging them to arrest and prosecute Atiku for corruption. He gave the anti graft agencies a 72 hour ultimatum to act upon his petition. The petition from Kiyamo against Atiku came after a whistleblower known as Michael Achimugu alleged in a viral video that Atiku Abubakar siphoned public funds through what he described as special purpose vehicles while he was the vice president. In an interview with Channel Television yesterday, Professor Kiyamo said that he is ready to go to any length to make sure that Atiku is arrested and prosecuted. He said that if Atiku wins the election, he is ready to face any form of persecution under his government, although he added that he will not win the election. He said, I am going to court. If they wish this thing away, it won't go away. Whether Atiku wins or not, of course I know he's not going to win. I'm prepared to face persecution under his government. I'm prepared to go to jail. I'm prepared to be charged even if he wins the election. So let's take some comments. Um, another said, I agree with you for persecution of Atiku, the PDP presidential candidate. But remember, not only him need to be persecuted. What APC presidential candidate? The APC presidential candidate should be persecuted too. Another cell said, "How about the one you pack from your office as a minister?" Um, another one said, "Fessos Kiyamo can establish his case against Atiku. He should pursue his case. This will stop corruption in this country, but should not compare himself with Obasanjo." Another said, when Atiku wins, he will go and beg him, by the grace of God, he will win. Another said, if you hear them ranting, you may think they are serious. Another said, he will go and beg at the back when the time comes. Another said, remember how you were locked in Abuja with Kingsley, Aigbe and Ade Bende was feeding you people. Um, another said, the exhibits are all here. Nigerian network provider will definitely help to make things easier. Lawyers are often gallants when facts upon facts are written are within their reach. I know Festus Kiyamo is going to use Atiku to add to his CVs. If I am Atiku, I will go through the back door to beg Festus. Um, another says, shouting on the dining table when the food is getting to finish. Another said, are you sure Kiyamo is all right at all? Um, why now bringing it now? Because Tudumbu is losing popularity. Politics should not be do or die thing. Nigerians know that APC has made the wrong choice of candidate. If they want to form another government, Amichi or Oshibajo would have been. Sorry, they can try again later. Another one said, Peter Obi will jail all of you. Another said, Festus Kiyama is looking for money from Atsiko Abubakar. So these are some of the comments and we've known in the last few days Mr. Skiyama has been firing at all cylinders about the revelation of the voice notes of Atiku, you know, talking about how the siphon money for SPVs and how he formed a company and all of that. That is still a kind of shock to many Nigerians because in the past EFCC has investigated him but they never find anything to nail him on so with this evidence of his voice you know in saner climbs you know the law will have taken a course but when it comes to big fish in court in nigeria it's always a separate law for them because they are known to be above the law what's your opinion on this do you think Fessor Skiyama will be able to pull this through with the reporting is done to EFCC, ICPC. The EFCC is the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the, also the ICPC, and also the CCB. 
So as we are preparing for the election, so many things will be brought into limelight because there is still more to come. Trust me, there is still more to come. How we are going to be able to pull it through depends on how determined Nigerians are to change the wheels of this country that is in utter, utter mess right now. Please give your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next news. Stay safe out there and bye for now.